Hello and welcome to another The Ray Zone channel video. Today I will preview final stage 21 of the Welter 2023 and as always in the end I will give a short recap of the previous penultimate stage 20. Uh, before I start I have to ask you for a favor, please subscribe to my channel if you like cycling content, if you like uh, Grand Tour races, if you like these previews then please subscribe. Uh, thank you for subscribing and let's move on to stage 21. So it is a really st short stage, only 101 kilometers long stage. Uh, essentially, all uh, in, in, in entirety uh, taking place in the city of Madrid, uh, starting from the Hippodromo de la Zarzuela and finishing in the, in the city center of Madrid. As we can see here on this map, here is that uh, Hippodromo de la Zarzuela, then we are like moving on this uh, ring road outside of Madrid and then once we get into the Madrid we are going uh, in the loops and it is essentially a sprinter stage and the bookmakers think that as well they have Caden Groves as the clear favorite at 180 and I have to say I agree with them he was really unlucky in the last three sprint stages so I think to tomorrow is his uh, like day to shine again and win this uh, final stage and essentially like uh, assert his dominance as the big uh, the best uh, sprinter in this race and take the re uh, green jersey convincingly. So Dainese is also like a good option. Milano, Ghana, they, they will give him a run for his money, but I think Caden Groves win tomorrow. Uh, what is interesting about tomorrow's stage is, is that it starts in the afternoon, so around like uh, 5 o'clock in the evening. And uh, the weather will be really nice, some 22 degrees, uh, perfect weather for cycling. In the city center it will be a real like uh, celebration of cycling in the, in the Spanish capital. So let's look at the GC first before I say a few uh, like words about the stage 20. So Sebkas wins the overall, it was an amazing performance by him and his whole team Jumbo Visma. Essentially they are 1, 2 and 3, Kuss, Vingegor and Roglic. Uh, then Juana Yuzo in 4th, Mikel Landa in 5th, Enric Mas in 6th. Vlasov overtakes Uitebrox on the penultimate stage and Almeida and Boitrago rounding up the top 10. Uh, Stef Kras, he unfortunately couldn't uh, make it into the top 10, but 11 plays for total energy and for his is a really good result, so congratulations to him. Uh, Remco moves into 12th with this incredible uh, breakaways that he, he was going into only like 17 minutes in the end behind Seb Kras, but... Uh, his, his uh, race is like bittersweet, he has three stage wins, he has the KOM jersey, but he's, he didn't really perform well in the GC and that's what uh, interested him the most, uh, especially having in mind uh, the tour next year, he, he was uh, hoping to, to perform here uh, good, uh, to, to be like on the podium, maybe even to win. To, to really have his uh, high hopes high for the next year's Tour de France, but with this like uh, not really convincing uh, performance i don't know how how will he will do it he he even looked good in the giro he looked good in the vuelta but in the end uh, not even a top 10 from those two races of course he had covid in the giro but still he didn't finish so so not not a great year for him he only won like uh, liege baston liege and that was his main uh, i mean he won uh, a couple of um, stage races but uh, like uh, outside of those um, major races but uh, in the in the classics in the monuments and in the GC uh, Grand Tours and GCs he only has that uh, Liege Baston Liege we will see how he will perform in, in Lombardia if he goes there and uh, like I said uh, Kaden Groves wins the green jersey because Remco for sure can't overtake him in the sprinter stage in the KOM, uh, Remco wins with like 80 points uh, plus in front of Vingigor. Uh, Ayuso takes the white jersey. The best team is Jumbo Visma, of course. And uh, let's just talk about the, the stage. So both poles won in the in a sprint against Remco. Remco like uh, he he needed maybe four or five more meters to overtake uh, poles who started sprinting really 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 early. He opened up like uh, 10 meters gap between himself and Remco, and Remco couldn't uh, couldn't close it. So he his uh, second uh, Sanchez Pelayo for Burgos. He he did 
an incredible um, world. I'm really impressed with him. He comes third. Van Etveld fourth, and Mark Soler with no sprint comes fifth. Rui Costa wins the sprint in the second group, and Kelderman once again without a major win in his career. So it, it is incredible how how many stage racers he's done and never won like uh, a stage at the at the, at the top level. So so really incredible, great rider, but uh, just somehow misses out on those wins so thank you all for watching like share subscribe uh, comment uh, have a great day and uh, see you in my next video i'm not sure when it will be but probably for il lombardia so a couple of days off for me maybe a week maybe i will do like european championships but i am not sure uh, yet so have a great day and bye